Today might be the last video in the GoPro Hero 8 giveaway. So to stay with the theme, today we're looking at ND filters for the GoPro Hero 8. And what I think might be the only viable option for ND filters currently on the market. The Polar Pro Hero 8 ND filter magnetic set. I'm gonna be drawing ping pong balls tomorrow night and then announcing the winner on Friday of the GoPro Hero 8. Black. So make sure to like this video, comment below, something more than just comment below. I didn't get that. I know it was a joke and you guys were all being funny, but I didn't understand it. And honestly, I felt a little left out. <laughs> For real though, comment something more than comment below. Say something, say hello, tell me. Tell me about yourself. Ask a question. I love when people ask questions in the comments. Also, there might be one last secret entry for the giveaway that you might find out about in this video. But subscribe, comment, like, do all the YouTubery because it'll help you win a GoPro and you're cooler when you do. All right, today's video should be quick. We're talking the Polar Pro ND filters for the Hero 8 and why they're currently the only good choice for the Hero 8 Black. If you remember from my from my Hero 8 video, there's there's no longer a removable screen cover protector thingy. Remember the the Hero 7 Black had a protector over the lens. You just pop this guy off and there's ND filters that you would put over your lens and click on. Similarly, for the Osmo Action, it has a lens cover. You just unscrew that bad boy, pop it all off like that, pop an ND filter back on there, and uh, you're good to go. Super easy. The Hero 8, though, removed the ability to swap out that lens cover. So, so how would you put an ND filter on this camera? Well, luckily, Polar Pro actually worked with GoPro in the production of the camera to make an ND filter set that would work perfectly with the Hero 8. And I will say, I like it, because it's now magnetic. But you might be asking, why is that box so big? What, are there like 20 ND filters in there? No, there's three. And remember, for the Hero 7 ND filter pack, this is their three pack of ND filters. And for the Hero 8, this, this is the three pack. A Little bit different in size. And the reason that this is so big isn't because of the ND filters, although they are in there uh, very nicely. It's a very nice case. It's a little overbuilt. I don't know that I need this much padding for ND filters, but, but thanks Polar Pro for making such a nice case. The reason though that it's so big is because of this little magic bit that, that makes this all work. Instead of being able to remove that lens, you take this piece now, pop it onto your GoPro Hero 8 Black, dink. And now you have a magnetic ring around your lens where you can attach ND filters. And you can really tell that Polar Pro worked with GoPro because this thing is perfectly fit to it. It doesn't block the back, but it does hold on really well. It's, it's on there. It's not going anywhere for sure. And yeah, it just kind of wraps around the lens, wraps around the corner back piece of the GoPro. And then you have three different ND filters that now magnetically attach. Oh. I just think that's like the best way to put ND filters on and off. It's quick, it's easy, and and magnets are great. The other nice thing is that these are square ND filters, so you can put them on either way. You don't have to be fussy and, and get them on just right and just gotta make it perfect. You just kinda slap them on there, they go on. And in this filter set, we have an ND8, an ND16, and an ND32. For those of you that like the math of photography, that is a three stop, a four stop, and a five stop reduction of light ND filter set. And on a GoPro, even at 24 frames per second at 1 48th shutter speed, ND32 is plenty of reduction of light, even when shooting in super bright conditions you're still gonna get that really nice cinematic motion in your footage. One of the more interesting things with this ND filter set, with the GoPro 8 in general now, is that 
it will always be waterproof. Again, on the Hero 7 or Osmo Action, if you're using aftermarket ND filters on there, your camera's kind of no longer guaranteed to be waterproof. So if I had an ND filter on here, I was trying to film at the beach, even if I was just waist deep, I wasn't actually diving into the waves, I was just waist deep, but then a wave hit me for some reason, or I fell down, or I was surprised by a wave because I wasn't looking, and this thing got soaked, it wouldn't be waterproof with an aftermarket ND filter on there. With the Hero 8 Black and this new ND filter system, it's always waterproof. So I could technically film like in a pool getting really cool shots or film at the beach like really close to the water getting really cool shots and if I was to get splashed or if a wave was to hit me or even if I got dunked underwater, my camera's totally waterproof still. So maybe this whole GoPro non-removable lens thing is a good thing. The main problem I still have with it is that if a rock hits my lens, it's hosed. So I do have lens protectors on there now. You can't see them because they're invisible. I always hear people say, oh, if you put a screen protector on there, it's gonna change your footage. I tested this before the screen protector and after the screen protector and I couldn't tell and neither could you. Yeah, if you have a Hero 8, for sure get screen protectors. I'll link the ones I got in the description below. Now what would be super sweet from Polar Pro would be a UV filter of the exact same size that I can magnet over there. Then I would keep this magnetic piece on my GoPro at all times and I would just have a clear filter on there and then when I went outside I'd swap this out for my ND32 and then I went back inside I'd swap out that back to my clear filter and just pop it on there and that clear filter would act as protection for my lens. And in that case I'd buy like four or five UV filters just to have over there to protect my GoPro lens. Yeah, Polar Pro, make a UV filter and we'll buy it. And lastly on this set is honestly just a size issue. That's, that's kind of my only problem with this whole set is that this filter case is quite large. Altogether, this thing is, it's, it's larger than some of my lenses. This is the Sony EF55 1.8 and and it's bigger than that lens. So in my camera bag, this is taking up a slot of an entire lens. Whereas something like the Hero 7 filters slide into a side pocket really, really easily. So Polar Pro, please give us a aftermarket filter case that we could buy that's just a slim line that, that just holds the filters because because again, I don't, I don't think I need a case for this piece. This piece I think I could just chuck in my backpack or put in my little, uh, little bits bag and it would be fine. Or I would just leave it on the GoPro at all times if you gave me a UV filter. I might just leave it on there always anyways. It really doesn't take up any extra space on there. I might as well just leave it on there. And if that's the case, then, then I have this big case just to hold these three little filters. Yeah, I would really appreciate a slimline case that I could just stuff into one of my side pockets in my camera bag. By the way, if for some reason you're a brand new watcher to my channel and you don't know anything about ND filters, you wanna learn a little bit, click the link here or in the description and, and learn why you should be using ND filters on your GoPro. It makes things look way better. It's always one of my first questions that I ask somebody when they email me or comment and they go, how do I make my GoPro footage look good? I ask them, are you using ND filters and are you at the proper shutter speed? And then, and then I send them a link to that video. Okay, I think that's it for today. Super easy, Hero 8 filters, ND filters. This is kind of the only real solution right now. I saw one that kind of clips onto the front of the GoPro. It tries to just kind of grab that front bit, but this is, this is the most secure, best system that GoPro entrusted by working together with them to create this. And yeah, if you've got a Hero 8, Polar Pro ND filters, you're gonna want them. All right, I think that's it. Stay tuned guys, Friday we find out who wins the GoPro. I really hope that it's somebody that was on TikTok because those are the people that watch these videos to the end, like you right now, because you're here at the end. I hope it's one of you that, that wins the GoPro. I'd really like that. I wish I could choose, but it's all gotta be random, so it'll all be just a random lottery type thing. It's a random number generator. 
that everything's on an Excel spreadsheet. It's very interesting, very, uh, very, very interesting. <laughs> Excel spreadsheets, very interesting. This is very durable. It's, it's nice to know my filters are so protected, but it just might be overkill, Polar Pro. I kind of want to, I kind of want to rip out the foam and just use this case for something else. It's a cool, oh, I wonder if I could. Oh, I can. If I can figure out a better way to use this, look at that sweet case that I now have. It's like a, it's a nice case. I don't know what I'll put in there, but it's something. That's awesome. 